Hi, this is Mark Passwaters, the publisher of AgEL.com, with three quick things for Wednesday, February the 13th, 2019. Uh, I want to start with something uh, that is not specifically A&M related, but it's definitely SEC related, and it involves money. Uh, it was reported this morning that Pilot and 7J, which has a contract with ESPN uh, that is estimated to be in the low to mid seven figures per year for four years, one year is already done, uh, is going to terminate the relationship with ESPN effective as quick as they can. Most of the advertising involved is done on the SEC network. Uh, the reason for this is ESPN ran a story talking about the Haslam family's ownership of the Cleveland Browns. The, Jimmy Haslam owns Pilot and 7J. Uh, it's been a family organization for a long time. Uh, he also owns the Browns. ESPN story was in depth. It talked to a lot of people, and it was not flattering about the Haslams. It basically said they were incompetent, didn't know what they were doing, uh, had changed course several different times in the past several years, and just basically had a mess on their hands. Uh, apparently, they didn't appreciate that, and they are going to cut ties with ESPN as a result. Now, the big loser here is not ESPN. It's not necessarily even the SEC network. The big loser here is the SEC because it didn't even have a dog in this fight, and it's going to lose revenue. Laura Rutledge and Paul Feinbaum also had individual deals with Pilot and 7J. I'm sure those will be terminated, too. They may or may not be happy about that. But the fact of the matter is, don't mess with the SEC's wallet. They tend not to like that. So ESPN's probably going to have to find a way to make good on this. Aw, oh, shucks. Okay, thing number two, uh, also fairly serious. Uh, yesterday, the Fort Worth Star-Telegram had a story on Dalen Mack, which detailed his bout with depression uh, over the past couple of years. Uh, starting with the divorce of his parents and then the struggles his sophomore and junior years as A&M basically misused him under John Chavis and Kevin Sumlin, and he dealt with weight issues. Uh, he's doing better now, and that's fantastic. This morning, Tyler Davis, the former A&M center, uh, came out and put a statement up on YouTube, a video statement, where he said that he's going to be stepping away from the game to deal with depression issues himself. Uh, I wish him the best of luck. I'm very glad that Dalen dealt with his. When you've got depression, it doesn't matter if you're a superstar athlete or an average guy. Highs aren't that high, and lows get very, very low. You don't feel like you're contributing anything. You don't think that you're doing anything right, even when you are. It can be very, very tough, especially when you're dealing with adversity. I ought to know. I've been dealing with, with, uh, dealing with it my whole adult life probably even before that. Uh, so, salute to Dalen. Best of luck to Tyler. I know what you're going through. And thing number three. The Aggie basketball team has won two SEC conference games in a row. They whipped Georgia last night, and they beat Missouri pretty good in their last game. Before you get all excited, those teams are terrible. They are really, really bad. There's only one team worse, and that's Vanderbilt. So, A&M is picking on the bottom feeders right now which is essentially what was expected. It's unfortunate because there's real talent on this team. They have not maximized it. They play when they want to, and that's not a real good sign. So, you know, great. They're within three games of 500. I would like to see a whole lot more. All right, see you Thursday.